Hello and welcome to another video on the playlist how to. In today's video let's see how to write the X path with not contains keyword. So generally we got to know how to write the X path using the contains keyword but how to use the not contains keyword. So let's see that in this video and before starting if you are new to this channel or if you haven't done yet please hit that subscribe button below so that you will never miss any video of mine. So let's get started. I am in this Google page and let me search for any of the word first. Let us test and let's go to inspect. We generally go for this not keyword when we want to reduce the number of the matches we found for the X path we have written. So let's consider a scenario. So I may not be able to reproduce the exact scenario but I try to do so. So let's consider the A tag here. So you can see it has the class name both as same but JS name is different here. So let's say if we want to find this A tag in straightforward what we can do is A and we can give this JS name. If this is unique value we can get the X path for this unique value directly with this JS name. So we are getting the X path match as 1 but let us consider a scenario where this JS name is not unique value and the class name is different for the other match we found. In that case to refine our filter we can use the not condition. So let us try to use the not condition here saying JS is not equals to the particular value and the class name is this value. So we can write it using this not keyword not contains js name comma the value and we are adding the class name. So here you can see it is identifying the anchor tag which is not having the js value with the value which we have given that is ki37 ad. So it is finding the opposite of it. So in this way we can use the not keyword along with this contains keyword to refine our matches of the web elements with the X path. So now we have got the two matches for it. So let us try to refine using this not keyword again. Let us say I want to select this web element. So we have other match also which is data is synchronous. So let us try to find out what is the difference we have. JS action which is I3 void for this and here the JS action is different. Instead of using this JS action equals to I3, let us try to use the not keyword and say and not contains the JS action value. So here we have successfully found the match of this anchor tag using this not contains keyword. So this is how we can write the X path using this not contains keyword in Selenium. So that's it for this video and thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel.